Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Laura, for those of you that do not know, and today I'm going to be doing a recommendations video for childhood best friends to lovers romance books. This is a trope that is kind of random and can often come with many other tropes being involved in these books. However, I feel like whenever a book has this element, it just makes it that much more special and just really exciting. I love when characters do have a little bit of backstory. Um, I also feel like these types of books tend to have some type of big plot twist or like an enemies element as well. So there's always something fun and exciting going on within these books. So I'm excited to share with you guys my recommendations. A lot of these are just like favorites of mine. So really excited to get into that. Before I get started though, I want to let you know that I'm currently doing giveaways on my Instagram and my Twitter, which are both at Lovely Like Laura. I'm basically at Lovely Like Laura on everything. Um, but I'm giving away some copies of Moxie, which is a book that just got turned into a Netflix film. The Netflix film has Josephine from After, if you don't know, and it's phenomenal. I watched it and it was so, so great. So I decided I wanted to give away a few copies of the books. So if you're interested in that, please go join. Just go follow me on there um, and you can enter. There's still a few days. So please go do that. But other than that, I'm going to get started with the recommendations. The first book on my list is called About Tomorrow. It's by Abby Glines, who is literally one of my favorite romance authors. And this book follows a girl who every single summer she would go and stay with her grandmother in New Hampshire. Up there she had some neighbors, one of them including this boy. She was like really close friends with his sister, but she had a crush on the boy too and they were kind of all friends growing up during the summer. One year though something happens, she never goes back to New Hampshire and then years later after she's graduated college she runs into this guy again who she's completely lost contact with, hasn't seen him since she was a child and they kind of start to get close again and things happen with that. So this was a really fantastic book. I read it super quick. It's definitely like a fast read. I did have a little bit of a problem with the ending. There was kind of a plot twist that I wasn't super sold on but I'd love if you guys would read the book and let me know your thoughts on it because I want to hear what anybody else has to say about it. But other than that, I really did enjoy the story. I really enjoyed the chemistry between these two characters and kind of the angst of them getting to know each other again now in a completely different time of their lives. It was really interesting and Abby Glines always has a way of writing characters that makes her books very easy going but enjoyable to read. So I highly recommend this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. Next up on my list is Little Lies by H. Hunting, also known as Helena Hunting. This is a spinoff from the Pucked series, but you can completely read it as a standalone. It's the only the one I've read so trust me on that uh, but it is about a girl who grows up with a big family and in this family her brothers have this friend he's kind of like her friend too but not really he's closer to the brothers but I would consider them childhood friends something happens to this girl when she's younger, something really tragic and scarring. And as she grows up, this obviously has a lasting effect on her. She's very sheltered because of it. And she decides to move away for college and go stay with her brothers. And there she sees this childhood best friend who she had and who they had who moved away when she was younger. And he was always kind of like her protector because of the horrible thing that happened to her. He always kind of was close to her and was trying to be around with her so that he could be there if anything bad were to happen. And they kind of lose contact when he moves away but now they're back at college together they're kind of on bad terms he kind of has this weird meanness towards her bringing in that enemies to lovers in there as well so really interesting stuff I loved this book so much it was so fun to read and I loved like the angst between these two characters and obviously they have such an in-depth past with the stuff that happened to her when she was younger and him being one of the only people that know about it. It was just really intriguing. So I loved the book. I think this is going to become a series as well. So I'm super excited if there's anything else to come. But this was a really fun one and I just absolutely loved it. Next up on my list is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. This is like one of my all-time favorite books, but it is just so tragic and sad. But I still recommend it to you guys because it's such a phenomenal book and it's written so well and the characters are phenomenal. It's really really great, but it's about this girl who grows up. She gets this next-door neighbor It's this boy and they immediately hit it off. They become best friends. They grow up a little bit They end up dating once they get to high school they're literally like that forever couple. Like everybody I feel like had one of these couples at their school that they were like together since seventh grade and just like nobody questioned them. That's literally them. But then the boy has to move away and he is from a different country. So his family has to move back. So long story short, he moves away and they tell each other that they can do long distance. They'll text each other. They'll call each other. But after a little while, she completely stops talking to him and 
they kind of lose touch. Fast forward a couple of years, he ends up moving back into the house that he grew up in next door to her, and they're kind of forced to be around each other again, but there's this like uncomfortableness because he doesn't know why she just completely dropped off the face of the earth, and so a lot goes on from there. It gets a little crazy, but it's such a beautiful story, and if you can endure the sadness, I highly recommend it. It's so good. Next on my list is a book that I literally talk about all the time, but it is because it is one of my favorites, and it is Bad Boys Break Hearts by Michaela Smeltzer. This book is another really, really wonderful childhood friends to lovers. It's also like childhood enemies to friends to lovers, um, so it's so fun. It's about a girl who grows up again with a neighbor, and they are best friends, but she ends up moving away and doesn't really tell him anything when she moves. She's very young at the time, so it's not really like she can have a say in it. She moves away and they find each other again in college, and he kind of has this mean demeanor towards her. He's just kind of like held on to the fact that she left when he was little and like never said anything. So they have this like crazy angst between them but they get to know each other again and the story kind of goes from there. It's kind of like a good girl bad boy situation. He really has walls up and he's super rude and just like not like she remembers him and she just wants to know what's going on with that. So there's like another connection that gets formed when they're in college and it goes from there. Really wonderful book. I love the way this book is written. I think Michaela has some great writing. I love a lot of her books, but this one is just so good. This was one of the books that I read and I was like running out to tell all my friends to read it and they all read it and they all liked it. So I think you'll like it too. You can tell these are recommendations that I'm truly obsessed with because so many of them are behind me, which speaking of Room Hate by Penelope Ward, that's my next recommendation. This is a book that I love so deeply. It was such a phenomenal phenomenal read, but it's about two people who grew up as friends and they have like a falling out basically. Growing up they had this figure in their life, this woman who was very close to both of them, very special to both of them, and she passes away and leaves behind a beach house that she gives equal like custody to or equal like ownership of I guess you could say. So they both own half of the house and they don't realize that until they show up the same summer to stay there together and neither of them is gonna leave so they have to stay together and so they stay at this house together even though they have this really bad tension between them because of like unresolved issues from when they were younger and the story kind of goes from there super fun book a lot more happens than like that plot like you'll see if you read this book there's so much more and like so much crazier stuff that goes on in this book and it makes it really fun it's a really wonderful ride i love the characters in this the writing penelope ward i just love her book so much but this is like literally one of my favorites from her and i think you guys will really enjoy it if you haven't read it yet next book on my list is called bully by penelope douglas this is a series but the first book follows two characters who again neighbors a lot of these books are neighbor books but they're neighbors they're best friends um one summer the boy moves away for the summer to stay with his dad I think comes back and he's like a changed person he's so mean he's so rude he doesn't have time for his old best friend totally ignores her and then begins to actually like be mean towards her and bully her in school and this girl literally is so sick of him but she doesn't really stick up for herself ever so her senior year of high school she's like okay finally I'm gonna stick up for myself and the story kind of begins there and this one is like tension and anxiety central. It's so, so good. I love it. Um, and I really think that this is a really, really decent, like, enemies to lovers arc, and you'll kind of see how that unfolds throughout the story. Penelope Douglas, one of my favorite authors. I think she just does romance so, so well, and you'll see that if you read this book, but super fun. I know a lot of you guys ask me for, like, high school recommendations or, like, characters that are like 18, 17 years old. So like this is a good one for that um, because they are seniors in high school, but it's so fun. I really enjoy this. And again, it's a series. It's like a companion novel series. So if there's characters in this one you like, they probably have a book. Um, but this one is just really near and dear to my heart. I really love it. Another Penelope Douglas book that kind of fits the bill for this is Punk 57, which is another sort of high school romance, um, friends to lovers. This book follows two characters who, when they were younger, they both went to different schools and their school had this pen pal program where they would assign you with somebody of the same sex as you to be pen pals with and because these two characters have like weirdly gender neutral names they get assigned to be pen pals even though one is a boy one is a girl um so they become pen pals but they end up like writing each other beyond this like little school project and they just kind of become like lifelong pen pals up into high school um and so that happens and then the guy character ends up 
going to this girl's school and he's enrolls in her school so that they're actually finally like physically with each other but only he knows that it's her she doesn't know that it's him so the story kind of goes from there this guy has some really dark secrets that he's holding on to and it makes him very jaded and it kind of creates like an enemies to lovers arc almost in the book too along with the childhood friends so there's a lot going on in this book but I thought it was really fun I love it I love the characters and again like I said Penelope Douglas just writes really great romance books so I recommend it I feel like I'm literally giving like hand-picked recommendations for you guys off the shelf. I should just like hold them up like I used to do in my like 2014 booktube videos, but my last recommendation today is Him by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. This is a duology, so there's two books about the same characters, and this book follows two boys who grew up going to hockey camp together, so they're friends when they're younger. One night something happens when they're at hockey camp that makes them stop talking, and they grow up and they end up back at this hockey camp as counselors sharing a room, and they kind of have to confront what happened when they were younger and work together at this hockey camp, and it's just so fun. I love the characters in this one and the camp atmosphere is so fun. Also if you like hockey books it's really amazing for that reason. I feel like Elle Kennedy does really great hockey romances so this is definitely one of my favorites from her but I just love this book so much. It's so sweet and it's just like a really decent friends to lovers book and I love the history that these characters have together and how they overcome their past issues and it's just a really great book so I highly recommend it. Okay guys so those are all of my childhood best friends to lovers book recommendations. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that it's a lot of books that I talk about a lot but it just happens to be one of my favorite tropes so hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Again, remember to go enter my giveaways on my Twitter and Instagram and just give me a follow over there. I'm always posting stuff for you guys, so definitely go over there, check it out. You can also down below check out my ASMR channel and my Wattpad book and just all the other things all in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and that you found a new book to add to your TBR. Definitely let me know what your childhood to lovers book recommendations are for me in a comment down below. I'd love to hear what they are. But other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next video. Bye!